Hey everybody, this is me, Chris. Uh, this is basically just going to be my coming out video to uh, when I was in school, which was, I don't know, I guess I took it in stride, so it was, it was kind of okay. Uh, the first time I came out to anybody was in fifth grade. It was, I don't know, it was, it was tough for me to do. We were in class. Um, one of my friends said that she really liked me and wanted to be more than just friends. Uh, sadly, I, I mean, I feel bad for her. Um, not, not because, like, you know, that, like that thing, but I felt bad that she liked me in this way, but I'm gay, so it really wouldn't have worked out. Uh... So, she's basically just straight up told me in class one day that she really liked me. She wanted to be more than friends and stuff like that. Uh, at that point, um, I was nervous. I was scared. Um, but I knew out of all my friends at the time that she would understand. And she, uh, I, I basically just told her right there, then and there in class. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. And I handed it to her, and she read it, and she just just stared at me for, it felt like forever, but it, I don't know, it was probably just a minute or so. Um, and then she asked if I was sure. I said yes. Um, I don't know. She was, she's a great friend. Um, she didn't tell anybody. She didn't say anything to anybody about it. Uh, she just kept it between us two. Um, very supportive about it and whatnot. Uh, then, basically, I was just... I was... I felt good after that. Made me want to uh, tell more people. However, I didn't at the time. Uh, then, I started coming out... I came out a little bit in 10th grade. Um, so, a whole five... Five grades after that or whatever. About five years, a little over five years or whatever. Um... Then I came out to like three friends, I think, in 10th grade, and they, they kind of knew, and they didn't say anything about it, which was also cool. Um, 11th grade, I started coming out more and more um, to my close friends. I was friends with a lot of a lot of hicks in school and stuff like that, and so it was kind of kind of difficult to come out, I guess you could say, because their views on homosexuality and stuff. Um, but 12th grade, I said, screw it, I'm going to put it all on the line and see what happens. And so 12th grade, I came out, uh, to all my friends whatsoever. And a lot were, a lot were fine with it. There was some pick friends that I had that weren't okay with it, of course. Um, which sucks because I mean... Some of those, some of those people I had were friends with. They were Hicks. I've been friends with since kindergarten, and so it's we had a, you know, we grew up together, and it just, I don't know, it sucked. But uh, I told them they thought I was joking at first. They're like, oh, oh, quit, quit messing around. Um, then I proceeded to tell them, no, it's the truth, and it seems like just in seconds things changed. Um, Basically, like I was, I don't want to say I was the talk of the school, um, but a lot of people knew, and I'd hear people like saying stuff in the hallways and stuff like that. And did you hear that he's gay and stuff? It would, it, it was fine. I didn't have a problem with it. Um, the Hicks, though, I mean, I was, I was still being nice to them, and I still am to this day. I don't, I don't have a problem with them. Um, their views are their views, of course, but uh, I. With like you know just just nice little things I guess you could say just hold the doors open for them ask how they're doing and stuff like that and it was just constant uh you're a fag and stuff like that just ha hateful stuff um I was told to watch my back numerous times um I was told by kids that they were gonna kill me for being gay and I just sort of shrugged it off I mean I was 
I'd say I was a little scared, yeah, but it wasn't anything I haven't heard before. Uh, just that kind of stuff. So, basically, I came out to them, and things changed from there. Um, I still got a lot of great friends that are very acceptant of it, um, but I don't know. I guess I'm just grateful that I came out when I did. Um, wish I would have came out sooner. Uh, my parents are very accepting of it. They're, I don't know. I couldn't have. I couldn't have asked for better parents. And I feel bad because there's there's kids out there these days that, um, when they finally do get the courage to come out to their parents and stuff like that, their parents don't accept them. They say that a disgrace and stuff like that and I just want you to know that no matter what deep down your parents still love you um, I know it's hard to believe uh, it's just at the time they can't wrap their minds around how to you know deal with the situation and so it's it's hard on them I I know for a fact that it's hard on you too. I mean, I, sorry, leg itches. Uh, God, I. It was the hardest thing for me to come out. I mean, growing up as a teenager, because of being gay. I mean, just day after day, the torment, the, the pain I felt of not being my true self, and then once I came out basically it all lifted off my shoulders and I felt I felt numerous or great about it numerous I don't know where that came from uh I need to stop saying uh by the way <laughs> I I don't know it's just it's probably the greatest feeling I've had out of my whole life so um I don't know I guess that'll be this it for this video um I'm going to make a video here in a couple minutes about my teenage life and uh, some of the darker times that I had to let everybody know that, like, how much pressure this is putting on the gay community and stuff like that of, you know, just being teased in fear that you're trying to let people know. But you don't know what, ex what to expect back kind of thing. So um, I'll make that in a couple minutes. I'm going to get something to drink real quick and upload this video. So we will talk to you soon. And hopefully you guys have a better day than yesterday was. Because a better day than yesterday is always a great day, right? So anyways, see you later. Peace.